His Christian name is derived in part from the ancient Greek, Hippos, roughly meaning horse. And his team's emblem is a black horse, the Cavallino Rampante. Clearly no coincidence, Felipe. Uh, I'm a Latin as well, so I, I have a very good relationship with the Italian people because it's very similar as the Brazilian people. And the Brazilian also knows how to have fun, as here in a candid camera escapade at a petrol station back home. Could you imitate the F1 noise? No, that's Vespa noise. No, that's my Volvo noise. Good. That sounds like an ambulance. Turn your Ferrari on. But now to the serious part of F1 life. Felipe Massa in 2002, alongside Nick Heidfeld and following Kimi Raikkonen, Sauber again hoped to discover a great new talent. But the Brazilians still lacked the necessary maturity. I think my 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 driver's style is something about aggressive driver. Uh, I, I I I don't have so much uh, patience to to wait to, uh, to overtake somebody. So I, 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 I want uh, to arrive and, and, and try, you know, uh, and some things like that. Speed, yes. Talent, definitely. The composure required at the wheel, still lacking. It was decided to lend Massa to Ferrari for a year for him to practice, develop, and learn. To such effect that in 2004, he was driving much better. Back again with Sauber, the training year had done him good. The Brazilian was regularly in the points, his impetuous driving style now firmly under control. A year later, even outpacing teammate and former world champion Jacques Villeneuve. Time for Felipe to move on and to leave all timidity behind, moving from a one-time to join a seven-time world champion, Michael Schumacher, and his Ferrari team. I think it's uh, great to have a teammate like him. You know, uh, you can learn a lot with his, uh, he, with his experience. You can uh, see also your level, you know. Uh, hopefully you can, can be straight away competitive and uh, for sure uh, try the best to be, you know, to be uh, in the top. And uh, it's very important to, to see Michael and to learn, you know, everything he knows. And he simply always knew better and could still drive faster. With him as team leader, it meant for Massa a lot of hard work. And that resulted in his best season ever, ending the championship in third. With Michael due to retire, the path to success then looked clear. For joining in 2007 was a Finn, who would perhaps do as well as he was charismatic. But he won the title, and Massa again missed out. Time to try again in 2008. I'm really pushing hard to help the team to win this boys championship and uh, really motivated. I think the motivation is really high. His car is going better than ever, certainly better than any Fiat Cinquecento. In Bahrain, the 27-year-old defied all critics and won the race, then came in second in Spain. In his third year with Ferrari, he's now aiming for his third win in Istanbul. After all, all good things come in threes.